share something with you and stuff and you know I, of course you know I check my source and stuff like that because I want to check out everything is okay as far as the transgenders and stuff like that you know now I came across a new mayor in town now her name is Jess Hertz now she is the mayor of Texas and she's also transgender. Go, Check go. this out. In New Hope, Texas, the mayor of a small North Texas town says residents there have shown overwhelming support after she came out as transgender woman at this week's council meeting. Now, New Hope Mayor Jess Herberts told Dallas Morning News on Wednesday, I was hoping for tolerance and what I've gotten is overwhelming support. The meeting was Tuesday, two weeks after she wrote an open letter to the residents online. Herbs, who began her hormone replacement therapy two years ago because Mayor last May when her um, presiding died. Now, at the time, she was an elder woman and went by the name of Jeff. She also came out as transgender last fall in her um, colleagues at Town Hall and her customers of self-employed um, computer technician. Now, the newspaper says that her wife knew the truth early in their relationship. So, you know, so basically the wife is going to stand behind her. So, you know, congratulations, you know. And um, here's, a, here's a video where she shared about her transition on the news and stuff because you know her by her being mayor it was going to go wide now check this out news. the current mayor has come out as a transgender woman the mayor jeff herbst who now prefers to go by jess herbst announced she is trans in an open letter to the community saying in part two years ago with the support of my wife daughters and son-in-law i began hormone replacement therapy I will continue as mayor and hope to do the very best for the town. Herbst previously served as an alderman and stepped into the position of mayor after the previous mayor passed away. I would like to thank Mayor Herbst for, for being brave and coming out and, and speaking her truth and being an authentic self because she stands as a model for our young folks. Finnegan Jones, with the support group Transcendence International, says with Mayor Herbst stepping into the spotlight, she is raising awareness for trans people across the country. This great news that comes out gives us hope as a community, especially in Texas right now, um, with SB6 coming out and, and all of the other discriminatory legislation. With her announcement, Mayor Herbst is the first seated transgender mayor on record. And of all places, bet you didn't think it would happen in Texas. All right now, Ms. Herbst. Well, welcome to the community as far as standing your truth and being a true leader to let other girls out there know that they can live their life and be fruitful, you know, and be a, a good example as far as showing that you can be who you are and not live the life that someone else wants you to be. So, congratulations to you, sis. Okay, you said, all right now, stand in the truth, sis. You know, I thought it was a little positivity as far as your Friday and stuff, you know, um, you understanding the truth, where you may be at the point of your life, like, nothing seems to be going my way, I'm so upset, and, you know, it's a little positive to let you know that someone's out there in the forefront that's not hiding, that's actually out there, that kind of did the transition 
kind of like Caitlyn Jenner, you know what I mean? So it's like, she did it in front of everybody as far as being amazing. She didn't walk into the office as far as being um, just, she went inside as one way and she changed it in front of everybody's eyes. You know, and to me, I feel as though that's a very powerful thing and it needs to be much more celebrated because a lot of people couldn't do it. You know, it's one thing is when you sneak through the door, I hate to say sneak, but you know, basically that's what you got to do as far as when you're this color. You sneak through the door and then um, you could just kind of like, you know, just get accolades as far as when they figure it out, they'll just figure it out, you know. And like I was said before, and I'll say it again, you know, for you girls out there that want to let everybody know, you know, well, I'm transgender, like I said before, and I'm going to say it again. Don't tell them nothing. And the reason why I say this is because, I'm going to say it again, like I said to you before. Once you tell somebody you're transgender, okay, let me give you an example. If you went to a job, and you went to apply for this job, now we'll just say a receptionist or data entry or... I'm just using it as an office, general office work as far as the sample. Now, once you go into the job and stuff, you know, you, you're presenting yourself a certain way. You walk through the door and say, hello, I'm Raven, I like to apply for this job. Okay, but I'm vacation, stuff like that. And, you know, you fill it out. And, you know, they say, well, Raven, your, um, the, your interview is here. Well, not Raven, but the um, person got interviewed is so Raven comes to the front. So, you know, walk to the front, stuff, but they sit down and everything. So, Raven, tell you about yourself, blah, 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 blah. Um, oh, Raven, you know, you're, you seem to be an asset as far as, you know, with this company. Then I'll say, well, by the way, I'm transgender. Their whole face is going to go. But they have to remain professional as go. Some could do it. Some could remain professional. But many won't. They'll just look at you like, oh. But you see, that's where everything paused. And why it's paused? Because the Raven had just become Ray. No, that's not my real name, but you know what I'm saying? Once you say that, that's all they hear. They don't hear nothing else. They don't hear Raven, they hear Rave. You know, or Ray, or whatever the case may be, or John, Becky, whatever, well, not Becky, but John, or Martin, or Peter, or Greg. <laughs> anyway, so at that point, they don't hear the girl anymore. All they see you as a man. They say, this is a man just like a woman sitting in front of me, but they're not going to say that to you. But that's what they're thinking. And it's not all type of people basis, but like I said before, you know, this is up to you to take that advice. If you don't, if you feel like, well, Raven, they could, they're going to accept me, I demand my respect. Will you be sitting outside the door demanding it? Because a lot of people are not very open to it. They're, you know, and then we got the trucks that's out there. They're trying to expose yourself. But, you know, you don't even want to know if you work into a company where that trust people there. They hate trans, you know, and it's just full for thought and stuff like that. Like this said before, let them do their research and figure out by that time you're already hired and you're already working. And they kind of like you. They got a chance to get to know who you are. You know, this is my opinion. I know it has not basically, you know, but actually she's working in some cor corporate type of America. So it was just food for thought, you know, like I would say before and I say it again, you know, if that's what you want to do and stuff like that. Like I said before, when you go, don't tell them nothing. If you want to do as Raven, you leave as Raven. Let them figure it out as far as everything else. And like I said before, it's up to you. Listen. If you want to listen, listen. If you don't, you don't. Don't have to. Anyway, I just wanted to share that story with you. If it was a positive thing, as far as then you're true. So shout out to you, Jess, and to all the girls out there that's knocking down doors, making things happen. To all the other girls that's looking at you as a leader. God bless you. Anyway, I just wanted to show I love you. And I want to thank you for watching. Catch the rain.